peas, glorious peas. I'm in front of an incredible board of one of my favorite ingredients in the world. Peas come in all different shapes and sizes and there's a few varieties that I'm gonna talk you through. On my right side, I have the English pea or the green pea. In the center, which is a cross between the green pea and the snow pea, which is on my left, is the sugar snap. So this is actually a cross between these guys. That's why I put it in the middle. Let me tell you about them. The English pea or the, or the green pea needs to be uh, depotted. So you literally need to open that guy up and then you're gonna find the peas on the inside. See that? The outer side, the, the casing of the pea is inedible. So you throw that away. But you can go ahead and get those beautiful peas out. And I'm sure growing up as a kid, a lot of you remember your nana or your mum sitting there shelling the peas. It's a beautiful process. I still really adore it. And the peas are fantastic. Next is the snap pea. With the snap pea, the entire thing is edible. So all you need to do is literally break the top like that, take that stringy top off, and you're ready to cook it. You can try and get some string off the bottom, but it's minimal and you won't even notice it when you eat it, so I don't even worry about it. That's the snap pea. Snow pea, most delicate of them all, also great raw. You can chop them up and pop them in salads, or you can blanch them in boiling water. You just take off that stringy piece and the entire thing's edible again. Peas work so well with anything from bacon through to beautiful parmesan cheese. There's so many different ways to use peas. So now you know what's what, Go into Coles, get yourself some beautiful peas and get cooking.